this is V, Diamond in the Rough, and I am using the DIY Moon bead boards. <clears throat> so after um, this is done, you'll actually see a time lapse. So I've already done the time lapse. Yet again, funny games with my camera. Um, <laughs> the I thought I would share with you guys. Um, one, what it looks like to use a bead board, granted, on a high speed. Um, but before I do it, I thought I'd give you guys some feedback on how I feel about it. Well, I'm still using it. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> I haven't gone, oh heck, I've wasted my money. Because I can tell you what, I have definitely not wasted my money. So I'm running, I brought, I brought the pair. Okay, and I have used them. Um, whoops, nearly dropped it. Use them on this section up here, uh, which is in the time lapse coming up. What did I discover about using it? Well, as you can see here, I'm actually working checkerboard method, which is giving me a really, really neat line. Um, checkerboard method is one of the best ways to go about keeping your drills straight but we tend to only use checkerboard method when it is um, color blocking you know when you're color blocking you use you use the checkerboard method and you end up with you know the best straight line you could possibly get um, obviously there's limitations with that with um, the, the quality of your drills but with this one I will say I have fan this diamond painting I have fantastic quality drills and I am um, color blocking is coming up really nicely I am working 10 I've got 16 colors out so I do have this one out as well um, 16 colors out um, that I've been using. I am you guys already know that have been watching me know that I'm used to working with a lot of colours when it comes to my blank custom. I work with a lot more colours than this. Um, but in saying that with this has just made diamond painting easier and dare I say quicker. Why do I say that? Okay. And I'd say any of the bead boards that people get there, I mean there's other other storage trays that people have. Um, yep, doing the right one. There is other ones that other people have. However, um, I've seen them and gone. You yeah, know, I couldn't see how they worked. Yes, I could. I couldn't hundred percent see how this worked. I liked the look of it and went, yeah, I'll give it a try. Glad I did. So I've had. Um, I have gone and put down wrong drills and it was very easy to pick up and clean up. I have had, um, so this is here, I have, um, I've, I've, so I've had drills, I've spilt drills, I've had one drill go from here to here, I can easily see and they were, I wasn't, I, that's the best way to put it, when you have a drill spill, or actually no, when you've been working with one colour and you've got drills that kind of somehow end up in your desk because they've flung, what do you do with them? Normally I pick them up and they go in here <clears throat> because I can't be bothered. That's not rubbish drills, that's drills that have landed on my desk. Um, but I, you find a drill and you can't be bothered with um, trying to work out which one it is, uh, which container it belongs to. Whereas here, I've had a couple where they've flung around and I've been able to pick them up and work, go, oh, that's that one. Um, you know, if I had, I don't know how, if I had this drill here come out, I, it's very close to that, but I know it's come from that one. But when you have um, drills come out and you've got to try and figure out where they came from, it's a lot easier to be able to put them back in the container that they belong in. Did that make sense? But yeah, I've had loose drills on my desk while I've been doing this. I've had drills fly and I was actually able to work out where they belonged. Um, 
and so therefore instead of throwing it out I actually kept the drill woohoo less wastage okay so that's one side of it one thing that I was concerned about was the fact that there's no ridges um, uh, you know how we shake the tray with the ridges to, to get the drills up the right way um, really in, in, in all reality because I'm able to do that they tend to I get, tend to get them in the flip them pretty quickly so there's no shaking of trays and when I shake trays you know when you shake trays the possibility of spilling drills is that much higher um, now using the tweezers because there is no I'll do a couple here because there is no ridges I can pick up any of these drills um, at any angle and be able to position it as per it suits me so it, for me to use tweezers it's just the, the simplification on using tweezers is brilliant okay so you know I don't have to have the tray a certain way and I have to shake it to get the drills all in line and all of that which I normally need for when I'm using the trays <coughs> won't need don't need to do that here um, there was I did do a change of colors so up this section I had the blues and then I went to the 939s and then I've gone to the pinks when I first started I had blues and the, the blues and purples more here some of the pinks weren't out but as I changed in the gradient of colors I've just rearranged where the drills are and do I, am I, I'm just trying to see if I need another color soon okay uh, no that's there I will need another color later so what I was able to do as an example so what I've got is 800 and I won't need it for quite a while 800 and it's an X be a while before I need it so what I've done is and poured it in put that away don't need it because I'm not going to need much of it I'm going to pop it there um, I do however have I'm actually going to move one closer to me because I'm going to use it a lot more so okay here we go prime example this color here 550 which is basically my target hang on my nails are not getting under to pick it up which is my target okay 154 which is my love heart I won't be needing much of <laughs> kidding my nails they, they, they are not that difficult my nails just need to be um, I just need more work on my nails so I've just changed 154 love heart and 550 around because I'm going to end up using that more than the love heart and then I know I'm going to need more instead of pouring just the spoon and in it is I'm good to go for that next color so as I need them I change them around I'm going to need more 939s well and truly Um, and you know I'm able to keep my containers <coughs> topped up as I need them and I'll definitely need more of the 820 so I'm actually able to have build up and you know it, it's just I don't know it just makes sense it does make so much sense um, confusion of symbols so I've had that where people have turned around and said where I've been working on the blank custom I've had comments on um, confusion of symbols it's I would not what I did have was these two colors next to each other that was pretty close um, that those two colors are so close in color visually not on the screen because I can see that's much darker but 
visually from here I initially had these two around the other way so I had the blue there and the pink I had the pink there um, I did what I what I did do is move them and then that means that I'm really making sure that I am using the right pink um, so yeah all in all very happy with this <coughs> um, what would be nice to be added to these beadboards it's not an issue for me because I've got the 20 I've still got one two hang on where is it one of my trays I've put somewhere I've got my three. I've put a tray somewhere. <laughs> or have I got two? Oh, but anyway, I've still got trays for here, for this other one. However, if I was actually gone, turn around and gone, I don't need this anymore, but I want to have, um, I, I need one that holds, you know, I want to just swap out one colour, but I don't want to put it away. Um, it would be nice to have a couple of spares of these and the, the trays and those. Where did I put it? Put it somewhere. I've used it for some reason. That's got me beat. Oh, it's probably still in the box. That's okay. It's in the bead box. In my moon box. For it. Um, anyway, so there we go. That's my feelings on it. Um, watch me as I work on uh, the time lapse and hopefully you'll enjoy that um, if you can afford to get these go ahead and get these these are stunning these look gorgeous um, and yeah it's a lot neater for those of us that like to work neatly that is a lot neater and so yeah I will go turn around at this point and go give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down leave me a comment subscribe Hit the bell if you want to be notified of when I am um, going, I'm um, uploading. Um, it is Sunday, how about I say it's Sunday afternoon. I am contemplating going live. Um, my contemplation of going live though is, that might be a good idea if I continued there. Um, my contemplation of going live is all relevant on, um, in a way, Nathan, um, and dinner. So I won't go live until after dinner, so then he, he'll go in the front room and disappear. Um, so yeah, that's, and I'll probably, if I go live, um, it's easier if the camera isn't facing me because then Nathan can come in and use the ice machine and not end up on camera because he does not want to be on YouTube or anything like that. Um, you might hear him talking <laughs> but you might hear him breaking other noises anyway. Um, so yeah I will um, hope you enjoy the time lapse of the beadboards um, in use because uh, I tell you what not time lapsed and actually using them I oh, really love them. Really, really, really love them. Definitely worth getting. Right. So, yeah, what I will say, check out DIY Moon. Their beadboards are individual. So, you will find that the one that you have will not look like anybody else's. Which is, you know, the, the, you know that which is fantastic. Um... This one I've got here is hand painted. They have a lot. They do hand painted, but they also do ones that have stickers all over them. So just keep an eye out for their bead boards. I'll put the link below for you to check them out. Maybe you like the idea. Maybe you don't. Um, but yeah, I am well and truly liking it um, very much, very much. And they're pretty. It's pretty. It's got beads on it. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse and um, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.